Man, if it was a Frampton, it's clearly the more important fight. You know, I have made that they're, they're deserving of a main event. But as far as, the, you know, there's a reason me, Paulie Mahaj, and Mr. Bracero wound up on this card, is to help sell the building, to help uh, the local, uh, attract local fans. Once the local fans are in the building, then maybe they'll become fans of Frampton and Santa Cruz as well. And well, that's the intention here. You know, you always try to stack the undercard with local fighters. So there's the two big name local fighters, and myself and, and Tito. So I think, yeah, as far as a crowd attraction, it's a big fight uh, for the undercard, but at the same time, it's worth it. I've heard you and read you, maybe hinting, could this be the last fight? Are you looking at it I, as the last fight? I, you know, everybody always saw X me that. I don't know. You know, I have, a, I kind of have a plan in my mind, uh, uh, and, 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 and it involves uh, the way I was dealing with this heat in Miami. And, and don't get me wrong, man, it's very uncomfortable making weight. So I, I make no promises, but uh, we, me and my trainer Luis Perez, uh, we were talking about how in this heat, if we have a, 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 a long training camp, we can possibly make the super lightweight limit. I asked super lightweight, I think I can compete on a more global stage than I can at local. You know, uh, if it's fine, and I don't make no promises. I don't want to look past Tito, number one, and number two, I just don't know if I would be able to make it or if I want to go through that punishment, that severe dehydration, but, but um, it's something that's crossed my mind. Also, the European title is obviously something I I, 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 want, I don't want to retire without at least having won it once. Uh, I'm the mandatory for it right now, uh, so I, I, as long as I, I don't lose, you know, I, 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 I get a shot at that. So I don't think it's the last fight here, um, but I, I think it's among the last ones. I have a, a small plan or a, 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 an idea of a plan in my mind, uh, and, and so how I want to execute it, we'll see. But I want to execute it in a bang, bang, bang kind of fashion. You know, I don't want to fight and then wait a year and fight and wait a year and commentate in the meantime, trying to make up my mind what I want to do. I want to either, at this point, I'm 36 in November, I'm 35 right now, I'm, 30, I'm either all in or I'm all out. You know, so if I'm going to be all in, I got to go fight, 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 whatever, or whatever, or whatever however many fights there are. Uh, the intention is to make it quick and be done regardless in the near future. But if I decide to fight, I want to fight consistent, and train consistent, you know, because as you get older, I think you need that. Do you find it, do you find it ironic that the person sending your way to end a career the way you want to end it, maybe with Ricky Burns' title, maybe challenging him, maybe with EBU title, is your your, your guy from back in the day, Tito Bracero? I mean, he's in the way for finishing yeah. the career the way you, you want. Yeah, you know, it's funny, man. Uh, uh, it's just, I, I was just talking over telling him, it's funny how life turns out and I, the irony of things out turn out. I remember Tito giving me rides home from the gym when I didn't have a car and Tito had a car and we were both amateurs. Tito, the, the, Tito's neighborhood borders mine. Sunset borders with Bensoners pretty much, you know? So, so, you know, I remember him giving me rides at times from the gym uh, coming home or, uh, early in my pro career or, or later on amateur career um, uh, when I didn't have a car and, uh, and you know, he had, a, he, had a, he had like a little hoopty car, you know? But, you know, we were both just young guys trying to make it and uh, trying to be the best we could be, you know, and you know, our lives kind of shaped themselves in the way they went, but it's just ironic that uh, we cross paths now, and when I, when the fight came my way, I told myself, I said, can I really do this, you know, can I really fight a friend of mine who I've been pulling so hard for since he turned his life around, can I really do this, but then at the end of the day, I said to myself, if I'm him, I would want the opportunity, you know what I mean, and, 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 and we, we are fighters, and we just have we get paid to get the opportunities we deserve, you know, uh, as far as if we earn them in the ring. So uh, why should, where am I to take away the opportunity from him? At the same time, it's an opportunity for me. And if he is good enough to beat me, if he is, why, why, why would it let me, why should it be a stranger? Why shouldn't it be him? If he is good enough to beat me. But if he's not, then somebody else would have beat him anyway, so I'm better to beat me and advance my career. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of a thought process I had when it comes to taking a fight. And I said, you know what? Okay, let's do it. You know, Kiro was appreciative, I'm appreciative. I think we have a good stage for it. And uh, hopefully uh, we can make the most of the, of the fight and everybody can enjoy it. Well, is it it's, it's still in your blood. That's the difficult thing. When you are, I think it's always in your blood. I think it's you always. are a fighter all these years and you love the game, you're married to the game. It's hard to move away from what you're saying that it's still in your blood. Because it's still in your blood. Yeah. I cannot go into a gym and then I start training and, and, and not want to fight. I, I end up gaining weight and I say, oh man, you know, I'm just going to hit the way I know how to lose weight is boxing. And I know boxing is a bang, bang, quick way to lose weight. I mean, you can lose weight fast doing, doing boxing. So the way, when I start gaining some weight, I start saying, you know what, I need to lose some weight. I'm not looking good on TV right now. My chin is coming out of my, out of my button down um, when I'm on TV, you know? So I got to lose some weight. I, I go to the gym to lose some weight. And before I know it, somebody needs sparring. Somebody wants to work. You know, and before I know it, I see young guys getting in there work. And I want to, you know, be involved. And then before you know it, you get in there, you 
start working, you start feeling pretty good, and you're like, you know what, I can fight again. Exactly. And you just get sucked in. So, so yeah, it's, it's weird, man. It's a sick it's like it's, 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 it's love them. You're married to them. What kind of I'm hoping to have a good enough performance so when people will talk about them putting on a lot of stuff and I'm like, and I feel like I can do that. I feel like I, I, can, I can put that kind of performance together where uh, uh, people will say, you know what, Mount Anji has stuff left. Uh, I know the welterweight division is tough, it's very physical, it's big, but uh, like I said, I'm gonna start considering moving down to super lightweight. Uh, uh, and if I can make it, I make it. If I can't, I can't. But uh, I'm at least gonna consider it. I'm gonna consider it more strongly after the fight. I can't tell you I've thought about it enough because I'm focused, so focused on this fight. But um, and once this fight is over, uh, uh, I get the win and, and I got my job done. I can really get down, get back down, talk to my trainer Luis Perez, and uh, you know, try to uh, uh, pop the plans, uh, the right plan. Or maybe I just chase the or European title. I mean, I'm not excited.